Hello, Mr. Randy Duck, and welcome back for another video. And today I have the free mark video in the tier 10 American Premium uh, Heavy Tank, the MBT-V. And I have four replays to show you today, uh, with the games leading up to complete the third mark of excellence and the game where we achieve that third mark. The first game of which is on uh, Pilsen here, which is the encounter battle, and we have one enemy artillery in the game with no enemy light tanks. Now this particular game um, wasn't necessarily the, the biggest game I've had in a tank, but it probably was one of the most fun games I've had in a tank, just because, it, like, particularly towards the end of the replay, uh, it was a very sort of hard-fought win where we had to, you know, I had to just generally try to, to, to do the right thing in order to get the uh, W at the end. Which quite often isn't the case uh, these days, you know, you do get a lot of just one-sided uh, lobbies where, you know, you're either just destroying the enemy team uh, or the enemy team are destroying you. And it doesn't lead to much fun gameplay. But this one here was quite hard. Um, it was quite enjoyable. Unfortunately, though, it is a very, very slow start for us. Which is kind of the case on Pilsen, you know, especially in counter map, map, map like this with the spawn variants this side, where one side spawns on the sort of ridges uh, and the other side, you know, spawns in the town if you like. Um, it's kind of awkward because no one can really push into the tanks and no one wants to really be the first person to make the push and, and it's just very, very awkward and it, you know, by design, you know, it's always going to be that way on, on this sort of variant you know, more times than not. So we decided to push into the middle of the map because in this position, well, I can kind of react the best I can to fire either side. And it means I can't really get hit by the artillery so well either. And I didn't want to sit on the ridge and get hit by the artillery. So right now I'm waiting, as you can see, hoping someone's going to poke up a little bit too much and I'll be able to get my first shot of damage in. But it doesn't seem to be happening. I keep kind of thinking, as you can see, I'm moving forward up. Maybe I want to push into the town and then try and work shots, which can work if you kind of win in one side, but because we haven't really won either side, I thought I'd get trapped if I did that, so I decided not to, I decided to be a little bit more patient. But now some of the enemy teams are pushing up to sort of present us a few shots. I've moved over to the right hand side to see if we can work any shots in. Do I have this tank destroyer is poking up looking for shots here, the Chinese tank destroyer or the heavy tank there, which we did just manage to land our first penetration in. And we're hoping to see if we can get a second one in before he escapes. But we don't get a second shot. We do pick up a tiny bit of assistance and the uh, enemy MBTB does get taken out. I think going for this free mark at the time, uh, the requirements, it wasn't that high. At the time I did it, it was probably about 4,600, 4,700. I think now it's dropped all the way down to about 4,100 or something. So right now, if you want a free mark, a tier 10, this is probably one of the easier ones you can actually do. And that's just because a lot of the tanks got given away, so a lot of people are playing them, uh, and that's just often the case. We get unlucky with a first bounce onto that Chinese uh, tank destroyer there. We do man manage to pen for the second time of arson, picking up our second penetration of the game. And then again, we get a bit unfortunate with the bounce again, because that Chinese tank doesn't really have much armor uh, at all, really. Um, we just caught one of them you know, awkward, you know, ricocheted angles, but thankfully we then, the more difficult of the shots, we do hit picking up our third penetration of damage. And so far, this is a very close game. It's 13, you know, versus 13. And apart from picking up a little bit of damage here and there, nothing drastically is happening. But the longer this game goes on, the, the more, you know, the, you know, the enemy team or our team are going to make advances. Uh, and it's going to free up a little bit to try and get some more damage out of this game. So I'm just trying to, at this point in, in time, obviously I'm going for the third mark, so I'm not going to make any crazy decisions and go for some silly pushes unless I think it's the right play to go, just because I do want to try and free mark the tank. So I'm just waiting, uh, and you know, at this point, the pace of the game is not that quick that I need to make these plays to make sure, to ensure I get the damage. So I'm waiting, as you can see, Let's just trying to just keep as many angles as I can clear. Now the right hand side's not really being lit up that much now. So I'm going to poke around and see if we can try and get any shots in. 
It looks like some tanks are trying to cross. We get one nice shot into that enemy uh, heavy tank, which tracks him in place. And then our friendly Turan slaps him, and we pick up a lot of uh, track assistance damage there. It's very helpful for our mark. Looks like some more tanks are trying to cross. And where our friendly tank has died in front of us, it has actually worked out to our advantage because we've now got a little bit of a wreck, which is you know, going to give us a bit more of hard cover if these tanks do come round onto us. So I'm going to try and make use of that cover and I was trying to push it a little bit further just so I can then potentially side scrape off of that uh, wreck. But also if the enemy team do come round, fall round on the right, I just know I've got that as a little bit of protection for later on in the game, uh, which could come in handy. Um, so again, now an enemy heavy tank has pushed into the middle to get shot. So now I'm able to catch him out and I should be able to free farm this heavy tank. It's got really, unfortunately for him, nowhere to go. We get a nice shot in for the lower plate with the AP shells. We do swap to the heat because that lower plate pen wasn't guaranteed with the AP shells. We want to make sure we just take out this damage, uh, this tank as quickly as possibly can. We do finish him off. We do also bounce the shot there, uh, but it does damage our viewpoint. But that's not going to be a massive issue for us at this moment in time. As the team have pushed into the centre of the map, it's given us lots of opportunities to, to now finally try and get some damage. And we do pick up a little bit there, but the enemy team are now trying to cross. And I really don't want them to cross into our base, because if they cross all the way over into our ridges on the right-hand side, if they do manage to, to secure that side, then it's going to put me in a very awkward situation, because I'll be in the middle of the map where they'll be able to get shots into me. And I don't want that to happen, so I want to do all I can to try and prevent that if possible. Uh, so again, we just, we're just keeping an eye out on the situation. I, I was... Looked like there is a tank which has got round on the right hand side. I don't want to get clipped out by that tank, so I've got to be a little bit careful with what I'm doing. Uh, just trying to focus out this uh, uh, other enemy MT uh, B here. We get one shot in, putting us onto about 4,000 damage, and we're pulling right round so that if they do decide to force end and kill me, I want to make it so our friendly Turan, who I know is covering us and is doing a good job at covering us, uh, will have shots into those tanks. I'm now getting shot. Uh, from behind, so I'm trying to pull back because I don't, yeah, I'm in an awkward situation here. I need to try and keep my wits about us. I have managed to maintain all our hit points, which is very, very helpful, um, especially coming up to sort of the end of the game where it is still a close game. And I'm going to see if we can try and get some shots around. I'm thinking about going around because it doesn't look like there's anything on the right which can shoot us right now. I was thinking about just poking quickly and getting a shot into that back of that tank. We're a bit lazy, we miss our shot, um, and yeah, we end up losing a shot of damage there, for, which we probably could have avoided if we were just a side scrape um, and not just poke uh, sort of overzealous how we did it. Uh, we're pulling back round now because I feel like these tanks are going to come round on us, and they are. We get a nice shot into the enemy E4, which tracks them in place. But there's three tanks now which I think are going to rush me, and I need to get back here so our friendly terrain can actually cover us. I keep trying to go for the track wheel to try and stop that tank getting around the side of us because that's going to be awkward. He has managed to do it, but thankfully for me, our friendly Turan was alert and he get a nice shot in there which has kept us in the game. We lost quite a bit of our hit points there, but that you know, it's, we're still in the game. We've still got half our hit points. Now we're using that wreck, which is coming in very handy from our friendly teammate who did die, trying to get take out this enemy IS-4. These tanks are not safe to the Turan. If they keep pushing around, our friendly Turan is going to be able to kill these tanks. So I want to keep him there as long as I possibly can. Uh, enemy Turan does kill the IS-4, and then we manage to kill the enemy autoloader, uh, which has you know, helped us out massively. But this is a very, very close game here. The enemy tank destroyer, Shots, who does play a very good game, that uh, enemy TD, I will give him credit. He makes our game very difficult for us at the end. Uh, but we're trying to background. So again, same principle. If they do try and come round onto us, they're going to have to get shot by our Turan. I've also got tanks behind us. I think one's an enemy uh, tier nine bat chat, which I'm gonna find very difficult to spot. So I need to just try and, I'm trying to use these trains to basically, all go on rear onto those tanks, I'm trying to use the trains to stop them getting shots into us, if that makes sense. So I'm almost like sort of reverse side scraping in a way off of the train carriages, uh, because I can't just, you know, if I turn around, then obviously I'm gonna to have to tank destroyer, which could come behind us. There's the enemy bat chat that does get a shot into us. We know exactly where he is, so we're just pulling forward. And we do hit him, but because we had the heat shells, it just probably got absorbed on one of his tracks or something, um, and we wasn't able to pick up the damage. But it has at least forced him off of that location, which is good, because now we know he's not there. 
Um, it gives us a tiny bit more freedom. But if enemy VZ is just looking for shots into us all the time. I'm trying to just keep map vision. I want to know if any tanks are coming around us. I don't kind of lost where that enemy tank destroyer went right now. Um, and I get to target there. I don't know if that's from behind us or if that's the enemy tank destroyer. Uh, I don't want to push in because he's going to outspot us all day and we don't get caught out in the open set tank or we will you know, just tear us apart uh, if that happens. I've also got to be careful with that um, enemy bat chat. Enemy bat chat does get spotted trying to go through the middle. We poke just at the right time to catch him out there. Get a nice shot in there putting him onto a two shot to us. And we're hoping to try and get another shot in before he gets safe. But I think he probably is safe to us now. And we don't want to just chase him. Because like you say, there's that enemy VZ. Uh, and there's the enemy tank destroyer. Which we'll would, would get, you know, taken out if we try and cross. So we've just got to be very, very safe. And we pretty much played the whole game on, on this map from the centerpiece of, of the map, really. Uh, but we've been able to deal with multiple sides you know, by doing that. Enemy tank destroyer does get spotted. He is looking for shots on us. Again, I'm now getting shot in the rear from this bat chat. Who has just come round? The Turan should be able to finish this bat chat off. I don't know if he's fired, but he, uh, he, I need this bat chat to die if I can. We do get one into him. We're now down to about just shy of 700 hit points, and the tank destroyer is looking to try and finish us off. So we need to try and pull back safe because I kind of expect that bat chat. You know, he got away with that somewhat. I got one punishing shot in. You know, he's probably going to just try and do it again. I need to try and be ready for it. Um, so I'm looking to see if we can get some shots in. I also just want to try and know where he is. But the enemy tank destroyer, from which we were fighting from earlier, has now come all the way into sort of A5 area, which he's obviously looking for shots on us. So I've got to be careful now that I don't go too far on the train track and get myself taken out. I then get caught in an awkward situation where the VZ is now looking to try and get shots in. I'm trying to stay safe in the VZ. Also, whilst trying to maintain the safety from the enemy tank destroyers, just put a HE shell into us and put us under 446 damage. So now I'm, I'm basically trapped here and at mercy to my friendly team coming to help me. Because if I pull back, I'm going to get shot by that VZ. If I just basically move in any way than where I am right now, I could lose my tank, so I just have to accept that fact and just hope my team are going to help me because that VZ is low health. Our friendly heavy tank, if he does decide to engage that VZ and forces that VZ off of that corner, then I'll be able to pull back safe from the tank destroyer by going into the middle of the map. And that's what I'm, well, going into that sort of building to my left. And that's what I'm waiting for, basically. I'm just going to have to be patient. I'm just not going to rush anything here. This game is still very much in the balance. It is a four versus three. And if we throw our tank away, you can see the tank destroyer is looking for shots. If I pull back here, he's going to be able to take us out. But now I know that VZ has moved and he's got pushed off of that position. That's giving me more freedom. Now I can actually try and get into the center of the map where the enemy tank destroyer cannot shoot me. Um, and just doing it slowly so I don't get, get shot or just taken out by that VZ. I'm just waiting now. I'm hoping that VZ is going to either die or get pushed back into our gun. He does get taken out by our friendly heavy tank. That leaves us now into the four versus two scenario. We've got 6,000 damage, two kills, 2,400 assistance with about 4,000 blocked in this game. Uh, so we've blocked pretty much double our hit points. And it's just about can we get the damage now and, and finish this game off. The enemy heavy um, tank destroyer does get put onto a one shot. I am also a one shot to the tank destroyer, so I decide to go behind him hoping that he's not going to be looking this way and uh, you know with the hope that it'll just give me an easy kill basically because it's a turretless tank destroyer and we come behind and he's not facing us then we should be able to pick up the kill but I get detected fairly early by proxy spotting and he's turning to face me which means I can't now poke and get the shot in uh, I'm gonna have to wait for him to come to me but he actually gets taken out by our friendly Turan uh, with the overwatch and we pick up a tiny bit more assistance as it gets taken out and now it's just the enemy artillery and this game is basically at an end uh, so that's quite a long one for the first replay but obviously we've still got three more replays to come after this let's just see if we manage to get a last shot into this enemy artillery piece and then we will move on to the scoreboard so we're just trying to make advance everyone's rushing now for the damage so everyone gets a lot braver when it comes to the end of the game the artillery does get taken out and that is the end and we do manage to pick up the win but it was quite a difficult fight at one point could have gone either way so we pick up two kills 6,000 damage 2,500 assistance we do get the ace tanker and the steel wool 
And yeah, I'll stop rambling and see you in a bit for the second replay. Okay, so here we are for replay number two. This time we're on Fisherman's Bay. There is two enemy artillery in the game and one enemy light tank. Now initially on Fisherman's Bay from this spawn, I usually like to play the middle of the map when I'm using tanks like this, which does have 10 degrees of gun depression and a somewhat decent turret. Um, and I like to try and see if we can poke and get shots, maybe cross shots on tanks uh, crossing towards the town. But being that it's in counter battle and there is two enemy artillery, I didn't really fancy being on that mid ridge and just constantly getting shot at by the artillery pieces. So I've decided that I'm going to try and push through and secure the win in town, or at least that's my objective. Because if I win the win on town, then I can try and push around and make life difficult for the enemy team. Uh, as well as the fact being in this spawn type on the encounter, quite a lot of the enemy team quite often go down the 1-2 line, just because that's where they spawn. And if you get caught out in the middle, you can get sort of, they can shoot you from across there. So it's kind of in my... Uh, plan here to try and win this as quickly as you can. That's why I've literally just you know, kept full sending out. The IS-7 is already crossed so I know it's safe um, and I'm going to try and see if we can win this as quickly as we can. Looks like there's an enemy uh, mouse here uh, to my left. I'm going to go around on the right hand side and just sort of spot out, see if there's any other enemy heavy tanks what we have to fight here or just try and get a bit of intel. Uh, we do spot one enemy tank here on the right hand side and then we spot a hole down IS-7 which is going to make it difficult for us to push that tank in front of us, which we'd like to, uh, because I'll be moving into sort of you know, two different angles to try and get damage. So I decided that I'm just going to leave those tanks for now. You know, they're not achieving that much where they are. They're not getting much damage into the um, my friendly teammates. So I'm just going to try and focus on help my team kill this enemy uh, mouse who's in a bit of bother. We swap to our heat shells because the mouse obviously is quite decent armoured but when you've got heat shells you know you're not going to be able to struggle to go through that turret face when it is facing frontally at you. Um, so I'm going to try and kill this mouse as quickly as we can, hope that the enemy I-7 you know, then comes in to help, gets a bit closer and then we can try and take care of that afterwards. So the mouse you know, has got all sorts of problems here really and we do manage to pick up a bit of damage, a thousand damage and a, and a kill. Uh, and now we're going to turn our attention to this IS-7. It's now moved in a little bit closer, which is going to make it easier to, to deal with, uh, especially when you've got our friendly team sort of surrounding this side. Because we are losing the other side of the map, so I need to try and win one side um, to do that as quick as we can. We poke here on the IS-7. He was looking at us, and unfortunately we do trade one for one there. Um, I'm now just going to side scrape because I don't want to lose any more damage to this IS-7. But now we sort of turned his attention, and this IS-7 is surrounded. We're just going to go in and just make quick work of this I-7 with the help of our friendly team. Um, and we do pick up the kill there, confirming our second kill of the game and putting us onto 2,000 damage. And so we've got the majority of our hit points. So the enemy team, like I say, have won the other side of the map. I'm going to try and push into the corner and I hope that I can potentially get cross shots at anything that then goes into the middle of the map towards the encounter and tries to get reset. Um, and just try and, you know, if I can operate a different angle to my friendly team and, and take advantage from actually winning this side uh, of the map um, and you know, try and push forward and keep that vision, keep it split because it's still a very close game at this point and anything could happen. We do have two tanks in the cap. They are going to be kind of sitting ducks in the cap circle to be honest but it is going to at least force the enemy team to sort of come out and try and get resets in. This enemy gorilla on the right does get spotted and now I'm in a good position where I am hold down but we do have this enemy Highlander who is looking to try and get shots into us uh, but we do manage to get one in and like I say we are you know, unlit now and we are hold down so we do have you know, shots at this enemy Highlander. We do have the heat shells loaded because the armour you know, obviously can be fairly difficult to, 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 to penetrate and we do have, you know, with shooting at distance, heat shells don't lose any penetration uh, over distance. Enemy artillery gets spotted. At this point, I think it's going quite well for us. Uh, you know, it's 11 versus 9. But it is. it does turn into be a bit more of a closer game uh, coming towards the end of this game. And it gets a little bit more difficult. I'm going to try. I, I want to get rid of this Highlander as quickly as he possibly can right now. But he's behind cover for us. And I don't quite have the shots to deal with him. There's enemy tank destroyers on the right, and so if this Highlander dies to my left, I could push up and potentially get underneath the ridge to spot all those tanks up, and then potentially put some assistance up. We still have two friendly artilleries in the game. 
We moved slightly more aggressive to a little bit further forward position so we have easier shots at this Highlander. We get one nice shot in and we actually damage his um, ammo rack. Oh, sorry, damage his ammo rack? Damo its engine and we are still hold down. But one of the problems I've got is that the artillery could potentially look for shoot, to shoot us here. Um, or if I poke too high, the tank destroyers can get shots into us. Um, so we have to be aware of that fact. Uh, but I'm trying my best just to find a way to kill this Highlander because that's the one I, you know, which is going to have shots, direct shots into us, as well as the fact that he's going to potentially light our friendly team up. So we put him onto uh, a two shot to us. We're looking to try and get a uh, shot in. Unfortunately, we bounce it off the lower lower um, plate, but he's moving up to try and get the resets of our friendly tanks in the cap. Enemy Griller comes up to try and get a shot into us. We do get one in and he gets good. You know, just a britillated there by trying to poke and get the shots into us. And we managed to pick up a tiny bit of assistance, but more importantly, get rid of that tier 10 tank destroyer. Uh, but right now, this is my problem. The enemy artillery is now having shots at us. And it's kind of a, a, a ticking time bomb for us, you know, for when the artillery um, can take us out. I don't really want to give up this position though because I'm the only one really creating a second angle to our tanks which are just sitting in the cap circle right now. Um, and I do want to keep that, maintain that angle um, and try and kill this enemy Highlander in the middle of the map. Thankfully we do kill the Highlander. Now I'm going to try and push up and get underneath the ridge if possible and try and detect the tanks which are at that ridge. Uh, we push up and then an enemy Sturve gets spotted on the left hand side. We have side shots into this Sturve. We're going to try and um, make good use of that and try and take out this enemy stirve as quick as we possibly can. We do do so. And then this is enemy full health Lehman Russ in the middle of the map. And it looks like he's going to start making his way over to us. We're still you know, on about 1,200 hit points. But this Lehman Russ is full health. He should get shot though by our friendly artillery um, and hope, maybe help take away some of these hit points. Or get shot by our tank which is in the cap circle when he has cross shots. Uh, we can pen him with heat shells, but we are running low on those heat shells. We only have two heat shells left, which is not ideal. And it's just this Lehman Russ and the artillery. The Ar Lehman Russ, I've soon discovered, is actually shooting HE shells at us. So that is you know, not really the play on, on the, their, their part. Uh, Lehman Plus can obviously be an awkward tank to pen. My real concern right now is the artillery, which is just going to constantly shoot us. And I need to kill this Lehman Russ very, very quickly. Otherwise, you know, the artillery is going to kill us. And he has now put us onto a one shot. But it's unfortunate that I don't have the heat shells. But we can pen that gun on the left when he turns like that. We put him onto a one shot. We're going to hopefully get the finishing kill here on the Lehman Russ. Then we can lose our spot and try and take out the artillery after that if we're still alive. But we bounce the shock. We don't have those heat shells loaded. And you know, he's still shooting uh, HE at us. We should be able to get the finishing on the Lehman Russ. But then the artillery takes us out. Which is a real shame. If we could have just finished off that Lehman Russ, obviously the artillery could have had potentially had a lot of hit points left and we could have gone on to have a really good game. We've got about 7,000 damage and 4 kills. So we have had a good game, but there was potentially a lot more damage left into that one. So what I'm going to do is skip ahead now to the scoreboard before we move on to the third replay of the video. Okay, so we do manage to pick up the win. We get 4 kills, 7,000 damage or thereabouts and the... Uh, high caliber there but that is it for this replay with two more to come so let's move on okay so here we are for the final replay then we're on Malavanka and there is one enemy fun police aka the artillery and one enemy light tank in the game now initially we decided that we're going to go and play the, the hill we're going to push across to the hill hopefully get into a hold down fight and, and try and get into a battle um, hopefully some of the enemy team go that way as well uh, but obviously we do have to be careful somewhat of the enemy artillery piece. But I didn't really want to play the ice road on the opposite side. Because from the hill at least if we lose the other side I can come back and defend the base. Uh, but it, and if we win the hill it just frees up a lot more opportunities for us. We can't really play the middle of the map being in the heavy with, with no real camo. Um, and the artillery is just not going to end too well for us. It is quite heavily top tier as well, so there is um, quite a few tier 8s in this matchmaking lobby. Um, so yeah, we should be able to do quite well on this hill if we do get into a fight. Quite early on there's this tank which is poked up quite high. We're going to chance it and see if we can finish that tank off. And we do panic get a, a kill there 
uh, picking up our first kill of the game and 350 damage. So quite a decent start to this game and we didn't eat really anything in return for that, which is good. Uh, and now we're going to try and get into this position and see what comes up the hill because there's not a lot has really been spotted on the other side. So I'm thinking we may actually be getting into a bit of a fight here, which is good news for us. Obviously, the main threat to me is the enemy artillery piece and probably the tank destroyers covering. So we've got to be too careful we don't poke too far on this hill. Like I said, there's tanks coming now, but I'm not going to over poke for a shot. I'm kind of, kind of just wait for that tank to try and come to us and, and just be a little bit more patient because I don't want to lose all my hit points straight away for no reason. Uh, I want to try and push these tanks into us and it, so they're not fighting hull down uh, and then pick up the damage that way. So just being patient not to, to lose any damage. Because this enemy, uh, you know, being that patient as we was now, this enemy tank destroyer on the left has pushed up and now he's pushed up into a position where it's going to be a lot easier for us to pick the kills. And I am going to focus tanks out right now because when you're in a fight, fighting multiple tanks, if you can try and just deal with, you know, taking any tank out of the game, whether they're a tier 8 or a tier 10, just taking out the numbers is going to help. It's just going to be less shots coming your way. Uh, we pick up a kill there, our second kill, you know, quickly taking care of the tier 8 um, Italian uh, tank destroyer. And now we've got this enemy VK, which we're not going to struggle to pen with the heat shells as he's poking up. He's going to find it very, very difficult to play hold down uh, against us. Just the nature of, you know, of being in that uh, tier 8 tank. And we're just going to focus this tank out. Just to get rid of the numbers. So it just make us life easier for us. And we are having a decent game picking up uh, about 2,000 damage. I then get shot from the right hand side. Because from tanks on the bottom. So I probably need to pull, move over more to the left here. So I can't get shot from those tanks sort of in the middle of the map. <coughs> I don't want to get caught out. Especially if there is a nasty tank destroyer there. And lose lots of hit points. Enemy uh, Russian uh, Soviet tier 9 is, is pushing up. Uh, we should be able to take care of this tank. We've got one shot in. We've got heat shells. We need to make sure we avoid hitting the tracks there. And we should you know, not have too much of a problem taking care of this tank the way he's, you know, he's pushing there. And we do manage to pick up our uh, third kill for 3,200 damage and 700 assistance. And we are starting to sort of confirm the numbers on this game. Uh, and now it's going to be a little bit easier. The problem I've got here is there's lots to see these tanks covering the enemy heavies. We did a good job of sort of keeping those tank destroyers out of the fight while we was doing the, the, the work at the start. Now I've just got to be careful that I don't lose all my hit points. So we do manage to get a lower, uh, a nice shot into a lower plate of that uh, enemy E4 there. The one shot heavy tank on the left, I would like to try and finish off as quickly as I can because it's gonna, also going to keep us guaranteed detected there. Um, I should hopefully have to finish on the lower plate if I can just find the way. But I kind of fluff that shot there and I'm trying to pull back because I know I think there's an enemy Turan there covering as well. Um, I want to be careful with that tank. We do manage to take out the other uh, enemy MBT-B there. Picking up our fourth kill of the game, put us under 4,000 damage and 1,000 assistance. And now just focusing this enemy tank destroyer caught in the open there, trying to take out a dangerous uh, gun. Uh, enemy IS-3 is poking. We get a nice shot into that tank, picking up 4,600 damage. And this has been a fun game in the sense of that I've been constantly fighting, constantly battling, uh, been able to pick up the shots. Unfortunately, we bounced there off of the enemy Turan as he's leaving. But at least we know he is leaving, so we can probably push forward a little bit more. Would like to punish that Turan, because obviously I'm going to find that incredibly difficult to spot that Turan at the end of the game. And it can hit so hard. I don't want to poke... You know, I want to find an easier path down to kill the enemy tank destroyers where it's less likely I'm going to get punished. So I'm going to come to the lower part of this hill here and then we can try and push around. There's only six tanks left but they have pulled it back somewhat to a nine versus six. So this game definitely isn't won yet because obviously they do have that enemy Turan which is going to be a very very dangerous uh, tank. So we do have to be careful that we don't completely throw our tank away. Um, yeah. I've got real no need to at the moment. I, I'm kind of waiting for my, a bit of support for my team so we can push forward. Uh, enemy artillery is trying to take us out. I would like to try and take out this one shot I7 as I can because I've got four kills. I have got an opportunity to potentially pick up a, a Radley's or a Devastator. Uh, we get five kills there, picking up um, you know, 5,000 damage, 1,000 assistance. Enemy artillery does land a shot, but I finally lose my spot. So I can try and push forward and see if we can get into a position to take care of these tank destroyers. They're not detecting at the moment. I'm trying to take a path where I'm using this rock to keep myself shielded. So I get spotted at the latest possible time. And try and hug, hug round to the right 
to try and you know lose as less damage because there is this enemy Turan and he does get spotted in the open and now I'm kind of panicking it's going to be able to take us out but that Turan gets taken out very very quickly we pick up another shot of damage there and that's one less tank to concern ourselves with and now we should be able to overpoke and get shots of this enemy E4 picking up the six kill confirming our top gun putting us at the 6,000 damage with 1,000 assistance with only three tanks remaining one of which is the enemy artillery, which we get a nice shot into. We're going to keep moving forward while we're reloading. We don't want to waste time because I want to get closer to the enemy tanks. Now I'm going to stop and aim and get that shot in to make sure we pen. Put some to 6,700 damage with six kills and two enemy tanks, uh, which have been spotted. They're on the other side. They're in the ice road. There is now only one tank remaining. Uh, it's just a race against time now to see if we can pick up the last amount of hit points on this enemy tank. Uh, it does get spotted. I think it's a Type 5, so there is quite a few hit points left. I imagine those hit points will probably go pretty quickly because there is still an enemy artillery. Uh, sorry, enemy? Friendly artillery in the game will be able to shoot him. But if I can get close enough, I might be able to spot him. We do get into range to get some shots in. We get a nice shot in there. We're down to just our AP shells there. Uh, we should be able to uh, maybe pick up another shot of damage if it keeps turning this turret this way. Uh, like I say, we haven't got any heat left now, so it's going to be awkward to penetrate this tank unless he turns in a way uh, to present us a shot. We're going to try and snipe the Capola though. We do snipe the Capola, putting us into 7,000 damage, sort of 600, 1,000 assistance. Uh, hopefully, I, I would like to get this last final shell in because it'd be nice to pick up the uh, Devastator if we could. We have managed to get uh, the Top Gun already. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I've no idea if we're going to get that shot in you know, at all. Uh, like I say, we bounce that shot there and it gets taken out and that brings us to the end of the replay. With one more replay to come, which is the one where we achieve our third mark of excellence. So we finished that game with six kills, 7,500 damage, 1,000 assistance, getting the top gun, the ace tanker and the high galliber. Let's move on to the final replay. Okay, so we made it to the final replay, the replay where we achieve our third mark of excellence here on Cliff. And there is no enemy artillery in the game, it's Cliff and Counter. No artillery is very, very, very helpful for us because we can play the mid ridge without worrying about getting shot from the sky. At this point, I was on 94.98, so I really needed absolutely nothing to free mark this tank here. And I was all very conscious of the fact that. I probably only needed, I think at this point, to probably do about 4,500 or, or thereabouts. And that would probably, probably a bit more, probably about 4,600 or something in my mind. That's what I was thinking I probably need to do um, to try and get this uh, tank free mark, which is not a massive amount for a tier 10 uh, heavy tank. So I'm going to be careful and just make sure I don't throw, throw the game away. So that's just sort of my mindset going in. Just get, get the damage we need to get. We're going to go to the mid ridge at the start. Like I said, this is good for us because we don't have to worry about getting shot by the artillery. There is quite a few tanks here. We don't want to over poke because there is things like the Death Star and big nasty TDs there which could just take away our hit points very, very quickly. So we want to be careful trying to get the shots in. There is an enemy Death Star there. We just snap a shot to try and go through his top bar there. Uh, but we don't want to risk uh, losing any damage. Um, you know, you know, Getting penned by that tank wouldn't be very, very good for us. So we've got to be very careful of that. Death Star has pulled back around the rocks. He doesn't quite have shots at us, but we've got to be careful. If he pulls back, he may have shots into us. And I don't want to throw my um, hit points away. Because right now, I'm not under any immense pressure to, to get the damage quickly. So I am going to be a little bit more patient. Because we have got tanks which are in the cap circle, which may force the enemy team... Uh, into the open or force them to do something so we can try and get some shots in we get out of the cap circle we do spot this enemy uh, Malgium which we managed to put a, a nice shell into we're going to try and get another one in if it keeps backing up we should be able to but I completely fluff that shot uh, I should have penned that shot I just missed it uh, which was a bit poor but I was under pressure thinking the Death Stars there and I didn't want to lose hit points to that Death Star so I didn't want to take too much time aiming we get our second shot in here we're just sort of scanning to make sure nothing else has shots in we are starting to take control of this game now we're taking away a lot of the map control with one round the right hand side we've kind of got the middle uh the enemy team are going to get trapped at this point so i want to try and rack up as much damage as we can and then maybe push across into a position where we can spot the tanks being in their base because uh, that's going to help us pick up some assistance at the end 
because uh, right now the damage is starting to disappear and I haven't actually done enough right now uh, in order to free mark this tank so I do need to just actually take a bit more of a risk here now to try and get across we're going to try and push into position so we can shoot the tanks um, you know, in the base hopefully spot them up in their base and pick up a bit of assistance whilst like, kind of shooting this Maljan on the move there we put the Maljan onto a one shot it should get taken out but just in case I'm just going to wait we will be able to get the kill here if not we do pick up the kill putting us under 2000 damage and a thousand assistance so I don't need too much more I just need to try and make you know, the best out of this scenario and try and spot these tanks and get some more damage in here we get a nice shot into that enemy um, uh, Chinese tank destroyer there putting them onto a one shot we should have to finish on this tank. We're going to take care of that tank. Well, we should have done, but then we bounced it, uh, which is not ideal because that's sort of going to delay us. But an enemy uh, TD, Chinese TD, gets spotted on the left. We get a nice shot in, putting us under 3,000 damage with 1,000 assistance. And only, um, yeah, we're not too far off. There's only six tanks remaining, though, so we need to try and get this damage in as quick as we can before our team get over there and they're going to be able to sort of clear out these tanks so the enemy teams aren't coming back from this really uh should be able to get some damage in here we're still full health like i say this is kind of like the perfect scenario because at this point i kind of feel like i've i've, I've free marked this tank at this point uh, i've probably already got enough yeah i'm just thinking let's just get another couple of pens in just just to make sure uh, trying to gun around the back and get some shots into this enemy griller unfortunately we snap that shot and we don't pick up the kill and the last part of damage is on the hill which we are not going to be able to get to uh, so our best bet is just to wait and just hope that he over pokes to try and get shots into that medium and then we can try and get some shots in but I'll be honest with you, spoiler alert, it doesn't happen. Uh, he ends up getting taken out and we're kind of just waiting here for quite a long time. So I'm just going to skip ahead uh, rather than make you wait, get to the scoreboard and I'll see you in a, in a bit. Okay, so there we go, we get the win. Not a massive game really to end on, to be honest with you. We get a couple of kills, 4,000 damage, 1,000 assistance. But it was the one we free marked in, so I was going to share it. Uh, but that is it for the video. So thank you so much for your support and as always... Happy tanking. Enemy in sight. Hadouken!